Hello all, welcome back to Knife Edge UK, at least I hope it's welcome back. If it's not, nice to see you, click subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Um, so what we've got here today, well we've got another kind of custom knife overview, I say kinda, another very custom knife overview, um, with the Thierry, Thierry Savidan um, Zen, and it's not going to sit nicely for me because of the clip. So the uh, take the size comparisons with a grain of salt here, because everything's at a slightly weird angle. So... There's a Zen next to a 3.5 XM18, next to a Sebenza 21, next to a 3.5 inch Shamwari. And I mean, do we really need anything else? Probably, I'll tell you what, let's just put it next to a three inch Shamwari so you get a really, really clear idea of the blade. But as you will see, proportionally, we're looking at something altogether different. So Thierry Savidan, one of the uh, best known, I think, of the the high-end French custom makers. He's worked a great deal and mentored a great deal of, um, of really, you know, names to conjure with, and I think influenced the vast majority of them as well. People like Tasha Berusha, um, you know, David Despe you, you I don't think there's anyone in the French knife scene that's probably not been at least somewhat touched upon by Thierry Savadan. So um, this model, Thierry makes quite a lot of different um, different models and he also does collaborations. Um, as I record this video, he's actually got a new one coming up with, um, with Tashi. And this model just speaks to me visually. I've had a Xerox, I think it was. Yeah, Xerox. And um, it was a really nice knife, but uh, the actual design itself, I didn't like as much. Um, there's also the, is it the Aatrox? I can't remember now. Dead air, dead air, I can't remember. But it's, um, it's that that's a really, another really great knife. Um, Treddy did a, a review of that one, which is well worth watching. Um, again, you'll find out the actual name from someone that isn't just a dullard, um, if you go and view his video. And when, when this one came out, um, I would, I just thought, yeah, I love the lines. The lines on it are really, really beautiful, and at least to my eye. So this was the one that I knew would probably end up being the Savadan in my long-term collection, because I, I just feel like, you know, I love I love Thierry's work. He's such a nice maker, and I certainly wanted to have one. So what we've got, we've got a CPM 154 blade in uh, Thierry's excellent hand rub satin finish. The blade's a really interesting grind. It's got this kind of sweeping clip point quality to it. It's actually not a million miles away from something like the Cody Utzler Duckling. Um, although the Utzler's not got the harpoon, it's got that same kind of, you know, slight lift at the tip um, that's kind of almost unperceivable, but there. Um, it's got a really nice hollow grind, quite a nice fine edge. Uh, Thierry Savadan doesn't tend to go quite as fine on his edges as some of the French makers do. Uh, but it's it's certainly you know a very a very nice serviceable quality edge, and then you get on to some of the more kind of characteristic things of this knife. The this uh, something about Thierry Savadan which I really like is that closed his knives always look both interesting and beautiful. He does little things like this uh, front flipper tab here, the way it dives into the way the scales are done. It's really clever. It's just it looks really pretty. Um, like this in closed form and when you open it it gives the knife a really unique kind of character almost like there's you know a cross guard or something built in here it's just really unique and I, I just really like it so those liners are um, anodized bronze on this particular one and then it's got uh, flamed color uh, covers on it which are lovely it's really nicely done and then this beautiful full backspace are done in polished zirconium he does a ball pocket clip these this pocket clip works really nicely and has quite decent deep carry that I really like this pocket clip it's it's well done it's very thin but it's also nice and sturdy it's got good retention it's great we've got these domed zirconium um pivot uh, screws on this one and then darkened the probably bronze actually uh, screws holding the covers on uh, centering's absolutely perfect it's got a really really nice characterful action but before we get to that we'll just talk a little bit about the handle so the handle on this as you might have already noticed is a chubby bunny if we take something like the xm18 3.5 you can see that butt to butt sorry i'm trying to look at the camera this is a decent amount 
thicker in the handle. It's also heavily contoured and it is amazing in hand. The ergonomics on this knife are rivaled for me only by thing, you know, from a folder point of view, only by things like David Lespect. It that's the only the only maker I can think of that that nails kind of a slightly fuller handle to the degree that this is. This is just fantastic. I would perhaps like to see even more rounded, but I am nitpicking there. Overall, it is super ergonomic. Love it. Um, so, you know, yes, absolutely, you've got some concessions in terms of the carryability of the knife. It'll be a chubby bunny in the pocket, but it's it's excellent. Incidentally, there's your lanyard pin nicely hidden inside if you're a lanyard person. Um, let me move on to the action. So, I tend to find that Thierry Savidan goes for a slightly lighter detent than some of the other front flipper makers. You can't shake the knife out easily at all. And the detent is beautifully clicky, but when you push the when you push the tab, the knife wants to leap out, but it's more down to the geometry of the tab than it is down to the detent. Even though the detent's keeping the knife in there, it's it, it's interesting. It has a they have quite a unique feel about them, and I almost would recommend Savidans to people who might find front flippers like something like this sorry i'm showing so many ridiculously lovely knives in this video and it's becoming a little bit gratuitous but something like this george you have to know where you're pressing it. it has a harder detent and it it's great and it flies out the handle and it's lovely and, you know and people talk about this with the um with things like the uh, the chamois as well, but it's perhaps not as comfortable for someone who either isn't used to front flippers or just doesn't find front flip front flippers that comfortable. I have friends in the knife world who just can't get on with front flippers, and I think that Savadan like this because you just don't really have to do much. You just put your finger on that tab and push backwards, and it just flies. It's just great, and you can reach over the top and do it. It's just a really, really nice, well-tuned front flipper without too much detent that won't shake out, that still feels crisp. I, I think it's a really, really impressive detent on this knife. And I'm sure some of it's to do with, with the geometry of this model um, specifically, but it, it's excellent. It's a really, really nice detent. Um, downsides. We've already talked about the fact that it's quite a chubby knife. Um, it's not too heavy because obviously a large amount of this knife is is wood so it's not very very heavy from that point of view uh koa is not particularly heavy wood it is a hardwood but it's not it's not super dense um the lock bar pressure on this knife is really quite high and the access to it's relatively small so you are kind of i mean you don't have to force your skin in and then push across if you approach it from an angle you can get in there but it's not the most comfortable disengagement in the history of the world um i haven't found it aggravating me too much on this knife but you know, if I've got to find a couple of nitpicks, I'll find a couple of nitpicks. Um, other downsides, there's not a lot. Thierry's knives tend to have a slightly sort of more obviously hand-finished look about them than some of the other top-end um, French makers. Um, you can see the chamfers are all done by hand, and so they very, very slightly vary from scale to scale. Honestly, <laughs> um I absolutely love it on, on Thierry's work. I don't really know why. I think on some people's knives, it might bother me. I don't know. There's something so organic and kind of real about Savadan that it just, it, it feels high quality, but very organic and natural to me. So it doesn't really bother me. I don't think it's an objective criticism particularly. Um, and it's certainly not egregious, but I'm finding nitpicks, as I say. Uh, apart from that, I got nothing. Um, it's really good. It's action's fantastic. One thing I would say is that this very cool design, which I wouldn't sacrifice for this region, is kind of prohibitive to slow rolling because these points of the titanium are quite are quite thin. Um, as you go over them, it's like a little feel of landmines. It just it just sort of attacks your thumb. Um, so that's a that's a slight downside. Um, again, though, I mean, really, with a with a lovely snappy action like that. I don't think I'd be wanting to slow roll it very often and you could always grab it from the blade. So there you go. Um, I won't ramble any further. This has been one of the longer reviews that I've done while I've been doing this little batch. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. This feels like a keeper to me, partly because of the beauty of the design, partly because I really like Savadan and the way that he does things, um, and partly because it's so ergonomic and so much fun to play with. So there you go. That's the Savadan Zen.